if you can see me, if you can hear me, uh, let me, so I'm trying out a new software. If you were here on, what was it, Tuesday? Uh, look, see, we go, we already had a, a weird uh, echo or something, or ad or something. Let me see if I can uh, close this. So I'm trying a new software. Whoops, there we go. And uh, yeah, the Hangouts on Air went away. So uh, I had to try to uh, work this out. Some people are saying echo. Let me try to get this open. Bear with me. Now with new software, things are weird. And I figured this would happen. <laughs> Let me see. Get this out of the way. Go back. Uh, Extra Grands, what's up? District Deals, what's up? Zombies, uh, Ecom Moose, what's up? So some people were saying, Echo, get this out of the way. It should be good soon. And, okay. Uh, clean, no Echo, District Deals, that's what's up. Dapper Fanatic, Mr. Abs. So the good thing and bad thing about this is that when I do the giveaways, it gives me a timestamp of, like, the first one that comes in. So that will help. And it might look different to you. But for me, um, it'll give me the exact time. So I'll take a screenshot of that. And uh, show it, you know, for everybody that could see the winners. Uh, let me go back and do some shout outs. Uh, Curry Curry, what's up? I do remember you. Uh, Burlington. Uh, JDP Muscle Makers, what's up? Mr. Eric, Nick, uh, Christian, JNA Beach Dates. Uh, let me see. Orisu Crew, Hustle and Silence. What's up? Uh, glad you're safe. Praying for your city. Appreciate that. I'm going to get into that in the very beginning. Uh, just to kick off the show, uh, Paula and Corey, Co uh, let's see, Corey, MC Thrifts, Paula, Zombries, Flippin' Dollars, Hustle and Souls, uh, Marcos, what's up, Ghost Deals and Deals, eBay Joey, uh, and Stevie D, killing it, Faith Lopez, Caroline, and Bampin what, Bampino, and who else, Brian Fly Kicks, all right, more people coming in, thumbs up, y'all, appreciate that. Hustle and Muscle and Haruna, Greedy Girl Boss. Always good to see both of you. Okay, so I think we're set. Some people said the camera looks a little bit better. Hopefully, hopefully it does. Uh, you can see this mug. All right, let me also, I can uh, apparently, I can highlight comments in here. So, like Lit Cherry Vlog says, what's good? I can highlight that, you know, as we're talking. So, know what to flip it. What's up, Fila boys in the house? Okay, so let me uh, get the screen share and we'll get started. We have a lot of stuff to talk about today uh, for the live show, plus a giveaway, uh, MVP pass, which is going to be huge. So hopefully you're paying attention, taking notes, because that's going to be kind of like the first part of this. So let's see, do this live show. And this is how we're going to look from now on. So you get to see me on the side still. Let me take off this Jake comment, and then you get to see the uh, slideshow thing on the right. So everything's good to go. Then we can start. Let me get this one out of the way. All right, MVP. <laughs> Rick, what's up? Rick Kelly Heat. Uh, Mr. Eric, let me see. Any other things happening in El Paso? So that's what we're going to start off with today. Um, I know some people didn't see. I was testing out this software on Tuesday and um, I was just talking about El Paso and giving updates because I am still getting emails and DMs, which I definitely appreciate because uh, some people were like, I, you know, I saw El Paso in the news, immediately thought Hustler Hacks. So I had to email you, had to DM you. So that I do appreciate. And, um, you know, I wanted to say that my family's uh, doing OK. Everything's fine there. Um, I, I went to go check it out on Monday, pay my respects. So I was there. Um, and now it looks totally different. So many stuffed animals and flowers and everybody that have gone there since Monday. And then um, today, I know President Trump was here as well, uh, talking to state troopers and police and thanking everybody that helped out. Uh, and I think, so the confirmed is 22 um, that did die from this tragedy. And uh, people are still in critical condition right now. And it's just uh, going through it, totally different feeling now. It's like a regular Walmart that I know if you live in El Paso, you've been there plenty of times. Our mall is like walking distance. You've been to that mall. Uh, so it's, you know, 
it's sad everything that had happened right now. And I know, I think today they're also going to do like a candlelight visual. So update just on that and thanking everybody for the uh, emails and DMs and everything. So uh, let's go on to also keep you updated. I know I, I told you guys on the last live show, I was looking to help a soccer team that, that was deeply affected by this. I haven't heard anything yet. I know right now they're just bombarded. Um, El Paso is just helping out big time, helping each other out. But as soon as I do, uh, for those that did inquire about that, I'll let you know. Okay, let's see. Let's go to uh, Sun, Sun City Hustlers. Know what you're going through, similar incident um, here in Vegas. Definitely. I mean, that one, how can we forget? It's just one of those things that will uh, definitely uh, be here forever. Deeply impacted. Uh, all right, let's talk about our word of the week. So MVP, and not as in Kevin Durant, the real MVP, MVP pass. So if you got the, well, I don't know if it went through email, but definitely through the app about MVP pass coming back and starting tomorrow. So we're going to read through this together. And I have three tips that I think will definitely help you for MVP pass. So let's go. Here's what it looks like. Uh, member access. So go to your app and you're going to click on, it's like a little guy on the corner. And then, let me see. So, oh, you go to inbox and uh, it'll come up. I don't know if you can see it right here in the little screen, but it'll come up there on the Nike app. Um, let's see. Hustle and Silence says sound is keep cutting in and out. That's not good. <laughs> let me see. Maybe I can. I know the picture looks good, but hopefully, I don't know about the sound. Um, Okay, sound is good. All right, Victor says sound is good. Might want to refresh and double check. Okay, so first off, I wanted to thank, um, where are we? Wait, legit vlogs. Looks like bust out different Nike accounts. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, Sun City Seller, who I saw at Nike when I was there, and he's like, hey, did you see 10% off coupon? So in the comments, if you were in Nike last week, on a Friday, uh, and I think it was good until Saturday, right here, member access, all you gotta do is turn your, uh, I guess your privacy settings to where you can show that you're in the area um, and the location settings. And it gives you, it's a 10% off your purchase just for being here. So when I got a really good cleat haul this weekend, use a 10%, really, really helped out. So, but it said only lasts for the next 24 hours in store. Um, so I did it and then my wife did it. And then, you know, we we're able to do that, I think for Friday and Saturday. So I don't know if you guys were able to check that out. If you saw that in the app, I wouldn't have saw it if uh, uh, <laughs> Sun City didn't let me know. So shout out to him. And I was that definitely helped in uh, the cleat haul that I got this weekend. Let me see. Let me see on here, making sure because on my end, it's a little bit slower now on the chat, but at least I can see it. Uh, okay, so let's go to MVP now. But you want to double and triple check. You might get those coupons randomly um, if you're in the store. And if you are, definitely take advantage of that. So MVP, here we go. Shop at Nike factory stores, Nike clearance store, spend $100 in Nike merchandise before tax and after discounts applied. All the stuff we know. Here's what they did change. So you'll be rewarded $50 off a future purchase of 100 or more. You can earn one MVP reward per day and up to five rewards in total during August 8th through September 2nd. So what do they change here? Five rewards total. So what they're looking at is we can see how it works. You remember pass scan, which you have that in the app. It's like the little QR code. They're going to scan that, reward you your $50, but they're only going to give you five during this almost, what, three and a half week time frame. So why would they do that? Number one, I'm pretty sure with these cards, obviously people have been selling them on eBay and other places. Some people probably got cards that didn't even have money on it and trying to uh, work out some sort of deal with Nike. Like, hey, I, I just got this card. I don't know what happened. I don't know why there's, you know, it's not activated. And so Nike now getting stricter on this and really making things go through the app. 
And we saw the coupon, but now this one MVP and I'm pretty sure friends and family. I mean, we saw that as well. I don't know how the cards are going to work um, with friends and family. Whoa. But if with MVP, this is the route they are going with now. So what can we do? Let me go back in here. So we have different terms and everything. Um, all of this we pretty much know. There's nothing new except for that five uh, rewards in total thing. Um, and then a couple other things here. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but Nike factory stores, Nike clearance stores, and Nike Kansas City. What's the deal? Is anybody in Kansas City uh, in the chat? But what's the deal with Nike Kansas City? Like, is this just a regular Nike store and you get to use all of these bonuses like MVP Pass and, uh, you know, friends and family? That's like a weird, <laughs> I don't know why this Nike Kansas City is on every terms and conditions that we've seen, but kind of interesting to see how that store is. Um, and the last thing was offer does not apply to tax. Nike employees are not eligible to participate. So sorry, employees. Cheryl, what's up? And uh, let me see Mr. Eric, same here. Oh, the, the override, yeah, definitely. So here we go. What can we do with five rewards in total? So here are my tips. You can write this down. You can take a screenshot. You can do whatever you want. But we're going to talk about these. So Quentin, what's up? Number one, multiple accounts. You definitely need to do this. So keep track of every total and every account. What I mean by total is like how many times or how many, uh, you know, $50 rewards you got on that single account. So what I would do is, you know, you you have to have at least, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten emails, different emails, different logins. Um, you might want to change. I really don't know how, you know, how picky they're going to be on the name part. I've seen some outlets go as far as like checking, you know, to make sure your the, the right name is on the account. I'm like, come on, man. My high hustle. What's up? And if that's the case, then, hey, change a couple of things. Maybe I'll put two N's instead of one N for my name. Uh, but, you know, have multiple accounts on your single name. Use all five and then switch to, a you know, another account. And make sure you write down every single login and password. Keep track of all those all three and a half weeks long. Now, you need a team. So, for me, it's me and my wife. Uh, Will, shout out to Will. He helped me out a couple of times. My friend Nacho also helped me out. Shout out to him. So when you're going in, keep in mind $250 worth of coupons per account. Let's say you do get five of the $50 coupons, $250 bucks, four to three weeks, switch accounts. Now, if my wife gets $250, I get $250. Cool, we got $500. Then, you know, we can uh, now work on our second account and then third account each and build that up. It is going to be more of a hassle instead of just having single cards that you can just use in and out. So that kind of sucks too. I would also advise this, that if um, you use one coupon in the morning and you do plan on going later on, you know, because they do get picky like one per day, then use a different account that has the coupon on there, if that makes sense. Um, so keep track of that, which ones you're using, which ones you're not using. You're going to have to keep track of all these and switch them in and out. Number three, get your money up. So keep in mind, you're going to spend $200 every time to get a $50 coupon. That's $1,000 per account if you do get all five. So you're going to need plenty of capital to make this work. It's not, it's not going to be easy, especially if uh, you're used to thrift game, uh, cheaper cleats from Ross, Burlington, all of this. It's going to be different trying to get so many um, different accounts and dollar amounts, almost a thousand bucks spent on each to earn your $250. But once you get the $250, your margins are totally different during that month when you can redeem it uh, because a lot of the Nike outlet finds, you know, it's going to be different now. You can use the $50 on, you know, a shoe that is a hundred. Um, if you find a shoe that's $99.97, then look for like clearance shoelaces. Usually they're like either 49 cents or 99 cents. So I'll get that with the $99 shoe. Now I'm over a hundred. 
and then let's say only use one $50 coupon. I know it's huge just to use on one shoe, but what if it's selling on GOAT or StockX for, you know, 140, 150? I mean, and then I get it for 50 plus tax after using the $50 coupon, totally different margins. And every time you use that, you definitely want to, um, you know, get more than $50 back and make good use of all of these MVP passes that you can get. So uh, let me see, district deals, rule number two, don't forget rule number one, get your money, <laughs> that's hilarious. Keep it simple, so hustle and silence, you know, username one, username two. Um, yeah, definitely keep those emails intact. It, I think that's a really good point, hustle and silence, because if you have emails all over the place, you know, different type of nicknames and names, Yahoo, Gmail, all of this, it can get confusing. You also want to make sure that if you go in and out of the store, you can keep track of what accounts you have and log in easily. So keep that in your phone or something, um, you know, copy and paste whatever password in there too. And um, yeah, you'll be, you'll be done. You'll be good to go for uh, MVP. So let's try it out. The first time they're doing this, I'm new to this as well. So uh, I'm excited. It starts tomorrow. And uh, usually during this time, I go every single day to try to earn. Um, and I bring the wife. So we get two, at least two per day. Unless it's really, really good and something that I'm trying to buy, then I'll go again later on before they close for a different shift. Maybe even change clothes, which in Dallas, Hustleby did not change clothes and they did not allow him to buy anything. All right. Uh, this what this is like an ultimate hustle game for us resellers. I know it's so no more physical cards. No, only through the app. And they're going to push the app because they want everybody, you know, using their email login stuff and um, everything electronically instead of going through all those cards. Also made me think about how many, you know, how much plastic and how many things do these guys waste on these cards um, that go unused, really. And I don't know. We'll see what they do. We're going to try this out and it is going to be different. So MVP tips. There we go. I wanted to start this one early um, instead of like later on in the show when we're all tired and you know what? We'll get this. This is a good part. It's going to over with. So if you want to catch the replay, you can go through that for the beginning. All right. Let's get into weekend releases and a lot of things coming out uh this weekend nike releases and move this up a little bit so first one uh nike air max one sketch to shelf and price 150 dollars comes out on friday sneakers app and so uh channels the earliest stages of sne of the sneakers design both the white and black versions which should we go? Uh, white one and the black one. So totally different too on like swoosh out. You can see different things like that. Uh, let me know. Smash or pass in uh, the chat on this one. How do I get the physical cards? I don't think they're doing physical cards. It's only through the app that I know of. Let me see. Should stay on the shelf. <laughs> From just the OG flip. Uh, let me see. <laughs> I think uh, they're both clean. I think it's one of those shoes that you, if you're looking for it collection wise, you have to uh, probably hold it and see it in person. Like, oh man, would I really rock these or not? The photos look cool, but would you rock them? You have to hold them. You have to see them. Uh, black, black is nicer. Uh, let me see. Did you hear about sneakers anniversary tomorrow? Shock drops. That'd be interesting. Maybe. Uh, let me see. It looks cool. There we go. Uh, next one for all the old sneaker heads, district deals, will, and <laughs> know what to flip it. And Vince Carter, Nike Shocks BB4 Metallic Silver in that OG colorway. Funny that we talked about this shoe when they were supposed to release the Olympic version. I don't think that ever happened. I don't even remember those even came out or not. I don't think they did. And instead, now we're getting uh, the OG colorway, which is awesome. But 160 retail comes out on Friday. Sneakers app and other select retails. So smash or pass Vince Carter Nike shocks. And when I saw it, I was like, 
you know what? I really want to pick these up. But then I really thought about it. Like, are people really going to be that hyped for this shoe? I could see these going to the outlets. It's bound to happen. So I'm not going to pick these up as soon as they drop. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. And once they're at, once they're at the outlets, I'll definitely pick them up. So let me see. Pass. <laughs> it reminds me too much of Shocks. Pass. Uh, let me see. Smash. These have high ankle sprain all over them. <laughs> Glenn has 200 pairs in his closet. Yeah, you definitely can't. I don't know if you would actually want to ball in these. Um, but then again, you might look a little goofy now wearing these just for, well, unless you're rocking like a Vince Carter jersey. You know, I think it'll slide. I'll pick them up with my 50 off 100 at the outlets. Exact MVP pass. Uh, trash, Corey K. Smash. We have a little mix. Uh, so there we go. Rock the original. Still kicking it sports. Next one. PSG Air Jordan 6. Smash or pass. Collection or to resale. Price $225. Come out on Saturday. Sneakers app and select retailers personally. Um, I don't mind the colorway. I think it's pretty cool. I don't see them reselling that great though. For $225. It's kind of weird when Nike does 225 on Jordan 5s and Jordan 6 um, because, like, ugh, like it's it's a little steep, and then people people are weird, like, when it comes to uh, once they already start off at a high price. So let me see. Pass. Smash for the collection. There we go. My high hustle. I've uh, been waiting for these. Brian Fly kicks. Uh, the fives were better. Mercurial Venom. Mercurial Venom, I owe you a gift card. I haven't forgot. Uh, let me see. Sat when they dropped in Europe last week from Corey K. So interesting. Uh, Bordeaux 7, better uh, from Not to Flip It. And Mike says Smash. So PSG, Jordan 6, we shall see on Saturday. Next one, Nike SB Jordan 1 Low UNC. Price 140 and uh, these come out on Monday, so you have some time. And a uh, sneakers app and select retailer. So smash or pass. Eric Costin second. Nike SB Air Jordan One Low is coming out. And, well, interesting enough, at the very very bottom it says the uh, Costin signature and twenty four ninety nine are written on the underside of the tongue. The price is a callback to Costin's mother not buying him a pair of Air Jordans he wanted when he was younger. Now, Nike should have just gone, you know, full mode on this. Just price them $24.99. Like, Nike can take, it's not even a loss, because we know it, it probably costs less than $25 to make this shoe. But follow through, make a shoe for $25. Bucks, let's just see what happens. Uh, but Nike will never do that. Uh, let's see what they say. Smash. Um, smash UNC. For the collection, for sure. Jordan 1 Lowe's. Yeah, know what to flip it. Loves Jordan 1 Lowe's. Let me see. I like them. I wouldn't wear them, but classic from Tyler. Let me see. Would take it, but collect dust. Um, shading his own mama. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know. Didn't get him. Uh, the kicks back in the day, and he never forgot. Let me see. Adidas had the Arizona shoes for a dollar, so Corey K. See, Nike can mix things up. $24.99. Just try it out. Uh, let me see what else. Smash for Tar Heels from Jen. Brian Fly Kicks. Pass because I know it's a low. <laughs> All right. And our last one of the weekend. SpongeBob SquarePants Nike Kyrie Collection. And the price is a little mix, 110 to 130 because... I believe uh, SpongeBob and Patrick are both coming out in a full-size run for kids and a toddler, grade school, men's, the whole package. Um, and I think the other ones are limited to men's, I believe. So smash or pass for the collection and which character uh, in the chat. We definitely need to know. So leave it in the pineapple under the sea, hustle in silence. Uh, grade school going to hit Ross. That could happen. Hulk smash him. Ecom Moose. Let me see. Smash at the outlets from Gabe. Uh, let me see. We got to get SpongeBob for Kenny. He grew up on SpongeBob. That's very true. 
Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't know about this one. Leave it in the rusty bucket. Rock, SpongeBob, and Patrick at the same time. I did see people try, you know, they were doing that. Like, you know, a shirt, Patrick, SpongeBob on it, and then rocking one pair, you know, one shoe each. Mix it up a bit. Uh, personally, for me, I think collection-wise, these Patrick, I think they're dope. Like, I like I like this whole pink thing, like kind of like this like neon green bottom. I like the color combo. Uh, not really feeling the SpongeBob. Uh, this is kind of closer to a Husser Hex colorway, but um, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see when when they come out. I think not only that, you can check Foot Locker. They are going to be at Foot Locker, not at every store, but you can check that out if you really want to pick them up. Who knows what they're going to resell for as well. Uh, but keep a close eye on it. Let's see. I uh, saw so SpongeBob t-shirts at Marshall's for sure. Uh, let me see. Patrick Squidward, though, pass. Oh, I like the Patrick and Squidward. There we go. All right. And I think that's it. Oh, speaking of Nike collabs with cartoons, we have our first giveaway. Well, actually, where is our giveaway? Oh, here's the giveaway. All right. So here's our giveaway time. 30 bucks, Ross, gift card, ready to go. Um, and yes, everybody else, I know I've been super late. I've been I've been slacking it, but trust me, this weekend there everything is going out. But Ross, gift card, ready to go. Here's a giveaway. And remember, uh, your answer might be different on screen on your chat, but on mine, it is giving me a timestamp now. So I'll be ready, and whoever I see on my screen, that's who's winning. So, all right. So it really, really made me think about other cartoon collabs. So the giveaway is not right away. I'm going to show you like a couple of slides. First one, Disney Jeremy Scott Adidas. Do you guys remember when these came out? Smash or pass in the chat. A uh, huge Mickey Mouse face on the tongue with uh, white, black, and yellow all the way around. Would you rock these? <laughs> Disney, Jeremy, Scott, Adidas. We're gonna go through a couple of cartoon collabs because now it really made me think. Uh, pass, smash. <laughs> That's funny. So some people will, will smash for this one, but not the SpongeBob. This one has a huge Mickey on the tongue, damn it. Uh, these slipped for big money. Yes, they did. Nope, no way. <laughs> that's hilarious uh rock them to disneyland know what to flip it smash from kelly <laughs> uh ooh pass greedy girl boss uh trash from alexander only if it was at disney uh what about this one nike sb dunk high premium quagmire <laughs> so giggity quagmire with the dunks so we got blue like the pants, we got the shirt, we got, what is this little design anyway? At first I thought, I don't even know what this is, but um, smash or pass for the Dunk Quagmire. Uh, those are sick, smash, pretty dope, smash, smash. Man, everybody loving these Dunk Quagmires. Uh, that smash, that's what Quagmire would do. Oh man, that's hilarious, smash, let me see. Um, Smash of the Quagmires, big smash, exactly. Smash on the dunks. So yeah, these are, these are, I don't even know when these came out or what year these came out. Um, smash, giggity, giggity. All right, next one. Now this one was recent, and I think eventually they did hit Ross, uh, but Nike CJ81, uh, Trainer Megatron Rises. So Calvin Johnson with his signature shoe, Transformers, we had Megatron, and I actually did get these when they came out. The worst thing about this shoe is that they creased hard. Like right here, they were literally falling apart, you know, when I wore them like what three, four times, like a huge crease. This is like a like I don't know what cheap material this is, but it was rough. Um, so smash your pass on Megatron Rises. Uh, sick concept, bless you, pass, smash, a little mix, smash for display maybe, smash but unfortunate about the creasing, exactly, it was it was rough with that creasing right there, 
Um, Optimus Prime says pass, 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 smash, a little mix. And I do believe these were um, at Ross at one point. Like later on, even though they'd have been out for a decent amount of time. Um, so here we go. Here is our giveaway. You got to answer this. The next shoe I'm about to show you. What character is it based off of and the show? I need both character and show. Let's go. LeBron six character and show the first one that lets me know on the chat will win the Ross gift card for $30. And let me go to the chat. Remember, I need both. I need the character and I need the show. So let me go back up. So on mine, remember, it might look different from yours in the chat, but I'm going through it. Um, let me see. Garfield, no. Stewie, family, guys. So Tech, Ket, he has a Pikachu on his, like a Batman Pikachu on his photo. Uh, I'm going to take a screenshot. I can show you guys. That one came in exactly at 730. He was the first one. Uh, let me put it in the chat and see. Uh, to, I can spell it right. And we'll contact you, send you that over. There we go. You can see my, uh, my response. Let me put a, I could put the comment on here, I think, or comments or banner, banner and put this here and did it show? There we go. You have won, uh, 30 bucks for Ross. So yes, Stewie LeBron six, uh, family guy is the show. So let me, uh, get this and let's talk about this shoe. So there we go. This one was a player exclusive for LeBron. And I don't remember what year this was. Uh, let me go down. So if you want to look more in more detail, PJ Tucker actually wore these, so very rare Stewie Griffin LeBron 6, last worn by LeBron in games 2 and 3 of the NBA Finals. Never sold at retail, currently up on Grailed for 20K. So if you have 20K lying around, <laughs> I don't know if they're still on Grailed, but if you have 20K lying around, LeBron 6, Stewie, pick them up. There we go. Uh, let me see the uh, chat. I know. it's Here's the thing, though. With the chat, I know it's weird, but on mine, I have the screenshot of the first one that came in. I'll send it to whoever wants to see it. But mine is always different from the chat one because of my delay. Um, so I have to go with that. Smash all day for 20K. All right, let's get into store updates. Man, we're already 30 minutes in. Time's going by quick. We're barely on store updates. All right. Uh, Hammond, anybody in this area, Ross and... DD's discounts moving into a vacant Kmart um, in Hammond. So this one, I don't know the date or when they're moving in, but uh, Ross and DD's discounts. If you're in the area, you can uh, let us know in the chat. Next one, Round Rock, Texas. So outside of Austin, they are building, or Burlington actually already opened, I think. Yes, yeah, so here we go. Uh, 36,000 square foot store on August 2nd. So it is already opened. Uh, the store form, formerly known as Burlington Coat Factory and sells discounted clothing, home decor, and accessories. Opened on the 2nd. Drive outside of Austin to the store, please. I'm pretty sure they have some pretty cool stuff. Next one, New Jersey. So Burlington opens its 2nd. Paramus? Did I say that right? Paramus? <laughs> location uh second burlington store and let me see outlets at virgin town center earlier this month it's having its grand opening celebration this weekend let me see hammond ross next to horseshoe casino from Derek. let me see burlington opening guest in north carolina end of the month there we go what about north carolina so two of them right there edgar and tyler uh, let me see New Burlington and St. Louis in Brentwood. Interesting. Am Sanders. Any word on the Ross in North Hollywood is gonna open? I thought that one did open already. Um, in the chat, uh, let's see. 
There we go. Operation Hustle. That Burlington is above a Marshall's Operation Hustle. Next one. This one tricked people. I'm pretty sure people got a little weirded out. Marshall store coming to London. London, Kentucky. <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, so many people in the emails and chat, you know, chat, emails, comments, they're like, uh, you know, we don't have any of this stuff in London. We don't have Marshalls or they have a TK Max. Is that what it's called instead of TJ? But they don't have Ross or anything. So Marshall store coming to London. If you read that headline, you're like, what? London, Kentucky. And this one says, uh, what does it say? Uh, fourth and final retailer to join Kohl's Five Below and Planet Fitness. So look out for that one. <laughs> uh, Burlington North Highwood opened, but the Ross wasn't opened a month ago. It's from Victor. And Shearerville. Did I say that right? Marshall's following Dick's Sporting Goods to shops in Maine, on Maine, in Shearerville. If I said that right. Uh, fake news clickbait title. Uh, so that one, and I think that's it for star updates. Yeah, that's we're done. No other star updates, at least that I know of, but I'm pretty sure there's other ones. We said what St. Louis you said, and what was the other one? North Carolina. So if you're in those areas, look it up and see, um, and see if that works. Let me go, go here from Indiana. Where is that? <laughs> Flipping dollars. Uh, I have no clue. Honestly, I have no clue. What this one is Okay. Power rankings. So last week, this is where we were at. DD's discounts, TG Max, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington. And people have asked, you know, how do I get some shout-outs on the live show? If you easy shout-out is to tag me on something from DD's discounts and TJ Max, because we're only getting like one tag a week, if that. People either are not going to those stores or maybe just not finding anything. So I can't I can't blame you for that. Uh, but DD's discounts and TJ Maxx are staying at four and five. Uh, but Ross Shallington made the trip out there. DD's discounts, 60 bucks, and found some Air Max 95. So, first visit ever to DD's discounts, I will be back. Uh, so, Ross Shallington killing it at regular stores, Burlington Marshalls, and then decides to go to a DD's discounts and still. Ends up finding something. Uh, so DD's discount 60 bucks. And uh, TJ Maxx, the only other fine we got was from uh, City Hustle, $40 for the foam. So really cheap for this one. Probably the better colorway of the foams that were always out there. So congrats to you, 40 bucks. Monster Vodka says uh, TJ Maxx around me is horrible. Tyler says mainly because TJ Maxx is trash. <laughs> Oh man! If you sell toys, don't sleep on the on home goods. Extra grands. Uh, Ross Shellington taking his talents to Dee Dee. <laughs> oh man! And let's see. You see the Ultra Boost at Dee Dee's humongous size. Mountain Star deals. What's up? Um, I didn't. I didn't see that one. Um, TJ Maxx around me doesn't have a men's shoes section. Yeah, they don't. Um, only during Christmas time when they feel special, then they will. Oh, you know what? We did get another TJ Maxx tag. Uh, the Dapper Fanatic, which is a random ass product that he found. Uh, Highland Mint Super Bowl ticket collection, Steelers Rams 1980. This is random. And uh, <laughs> if you go, if you go and see his other photo, I think it was 12.99. It had the TJ Maxx tag on there. I have no clue how it got here. I have no clue how many other TJ Maxx have Super Bowl tickets. But they did. Uh, so, Dapper Fanatic, shout out to you. Uh, let me see. Is that it? Oh, we got a last one. Smooth Sailing. Uh, $40 for uh, Polo Military T uh, Tennessee Titans. Uh, salute to Service Polo. So, I think now Salute to Service, obviously Stevie D found um, a bunch of jerseys. I would definitely try to get as many things as possible. They do really, really well. So any salute to service NFL gear coming out, uh, any store, just be on the lookout for those. Um, all right. Marshalls, here we go. Marshalls time and not a lot going on, which I was surprised. Gloves, which I think uh, Flippin' Dollars did uh, say. So gloves, Carolina kicks, 
Go Steals and Deals, and Dapper Fanatic, and a little mix. So college and NFL gloves, $5.99. I think somebody also found, I think it was like a pink uh, Odell Beckham gloves that were selling for like $80, $90, or $100. Um, I have not found any of those type of gloves. Um, I have seen, I think, maybe some of the you know plain black Nike gloves, $5.99. Um, they can flip like $40, bucks, $50, bucks, maybe depends um but some of them were, were going at least 40 so for six bucks why not take that risk um throw them up on ebay but texans and eagles and looks like a clemson little mix and these have more uh soccer no box or anything i guess they just throw them out there with uh the bag which is kind of weird but go steals and deals with that one <laughs> And next one, Iconic Steals and Deals. So Air Command Force are back. We've seen these in and out of uh, Ross and Marshalls for probably the last year, maybe even a, in, even longer, I don't know, year, year and a half. So a nice little mix, 8, 10 and a half, 11 and a half, and 10 uh, Air Command Force for $50. Also probably one of the better um, colors that are out there. Um, Amparo Brothers 270s for $50 and looks like I picked up a couple of pairs complete with box. Next one, uh, Ghost Deals and Deals and Shoe Finds with Vapormax Run Utility. So in the chat, smash or pass because Ghost Deals and Deals said that utility for women's in size 5. I don't know what the price is, though. I might have blocked it right here. But Smasher Pass for women's, though, would you pick up Favor Max Run Utility? And this one looks like, oh, man, I got kind of cut off, too. But I think these are men's. But 12 and a half for that one. Ecom Moose, there's your size. And I don't know what that one is. But Shoe Finds and Ghost Deals and Deals. Uh, and, of course, District Deals, which he's, he's going to make it every single time. Finds random stuff out there. React Element 87 for the low $40 at Marshalls. Complete with box. It looks like size 13 and size 9. Let's see. Next one, Joe Nunez 909, $30. Complete with box for the uptempos for kids. This is another one. Uh, we've seen it. At Ross, but complete with box, definitely going to help you a little bit more, get a little bit more money. If you pick up size six and seven, I think you're good to go. Next one, uh, Electric Relish. <laughs> Hyperdunk Low Team Basketball in purple, and I think they were, what, $40? So uh, actually, that one's totally different, but a little mix, nine, 10, and 13. I think our Marshalls has this one too, but... 40 bucks. Um, Hustlebee has this theory that anything purple right now and looks somewhat close to Laker colors is worth picking up because of LeBron and Anthony Davis and Lakers are going to do good this year. So he's going off of that theory. Some people might be going that theory as well. Next one, uh, Kicks Troll and uh, Fill the Cart. Kobe 11 Elite Low Master of Innovation. So nice, what, seven pairs? And still, to this day, um, at least these last releases, me and Hustleby, we did not find any Kobe 11s anywhere in the last, like, month, two months. None of that. All right, next one. Let's see, Hustlebin. So Kyrie fours at $50 and looks like a size seven and a half. Couple more back there. Don't know what sizes those are. And uh, Merch May, I'm asking any size tens. So looking for the collection. Uh, Iris says, I grabbed a LeBron's pot of gold because they are Laker colors. And Extra Grand says, the B would be right. Um, for, uh, yeah, Laker colors. Could happen. We're going to see when the season starts. And uh, flipping dollars, LeBron soldiers, a little mix, fifty dollars, and flipping dollars. Let me see, pretty solid color. Would you have picked them up? Depends. How much are they selling for? So flipping dollars, so I think is here. If you did pick them up, but ten and a half, eleven and a half, 
12, 13. There's a good sizes. I think the solid, I think it, the color is solid. I think it's definitely worth picking up. Um, I know it's different from the camo color, which sold well for me. Also, the uh, black with the gum bottoms, that one also sold uh, pretty good. But this one also, nothing crazy, nothing wild. So I think it's worth picking up. All right, Ross, which we're going quick. I think Marshall's eh, wasn't a lot going on compared to last week. But Ross, a lot of finds. All right, Stevie D and Scotty Flippin with project rock and what's the deal with this camel green um i have not seen this color looks like a uh, two pairs each um, i've only seen the black one but either way i mean you're picking those up easy money uh but in the chat if you pick these up then uh oh the wife texts okay <laughs> if you pick these up let me know how they're, how they're selling really really good or bad or what but i'm pretty sure uh staying patient for Q4. Green one, maybe not as good as the black one, but either way, you're picking them up. All right, uh, Flip Flips and TDBS Marketplace. So let's talk jerseys a little bit. And it looks like players that are no longer with the teams. Unlike Stevie D's pickup of the Carson Wentz Eagles, which that's going to be insanely good money for 17 jerseys, uh, this one, we have, what, Bell and Brown and Mac. It looks like I also found a Decker. Um, so they are limited jerseys. I think they retail for 150 And how much did Ross have them for? I can't see the tag. I know I did see the Antonio Brown. I also found Antonio Brown Steelers for kids um, and Porzingis Knicks jersey for kids, which I think it was $10. Um, also, some uh, Des Bryant Cowboys for kids, and I think that one was four ninety nine. It wasn't sewn; it was screen printed. Uh, for me, I have been le leaving the Steelers jerseys behind as well. Um, let me go back. Eddie says been leaving them behind. I did leave them behind, at least the ones that I did see. Uh, let me see. Philip Rivers Elite. Now that one you definitely have to pick up. Can't give away the Bell jersey. Oh, there we go. Well, if your name, definitely see that. Uh, 25, oh, 25 bucks for those. Um, all I have found is one leg. Alex Smith. <laughs> uh, let me see. Fabian, what's up? Late again, no problem. Uh, Todd Gurley. I think um, Corey and uh, Lit Cherry both saw or both found the Todd Gurley jerseys. They had definite pickups on that one. Uh, let me see. Antonio Brown being a Hall of Famer. Maybe Bell will too. Could happen. Uh, you're in it for the long haul if that does happen. I mean, it is low risk at 25. Uh, but what if Antonio Brown dominates with the Raiders? What would happen? Let me see. What's up, Drake? And let me see. People can wear them fantasy football drafts. <laughs> uh, someone find me a Kaepernick jersey. I know someone's sitting on some. Pretty sure there's some out there. Um, did you ever update us on that jersey you found? I did not, but I am probably going to make a video on it. It did sell, and I'll let you guys um, – I mean, I'll let you guys know and keep you updated on the full sale. And like I said, I'll probably do a video. Can't let it go right now. Um, next one. <laughs> Brown has frostbite feet. I saw that. Okay. Uh, Faith Lopez, an incognito retail resale man, um, always stumps me every time I have to read the name. Uh, here we go. Air Max 97. We got some dunks back there. We got some New Balance. We have Kobe ADs, uh, Faith Lopez with the Vapor Max, and I think these are Hardens. Can't really see them. Um, so a little mix on both. Next one, Luck Ducks with uh, Foam Posits and Ross Shallington. Are these T are these T Max? T Max showing up at Ross. And is I don't know if this is I can I can barely see. I'm trying to think what he had. What T Mac wore. Like, is it like an all-star game one or something? Or what happened? Like one blue, one red. I'm trying to figure that out. But T Mac, um, you know, Adidas. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, All-Star. So. No, to flip it, would you rock these? That's the question. Next one. 
uh, Fabes Fines, so the Air Max 90, and also the Adidas White Mountaineering, which I think are here, and uh, Soles and Stitches Air Max 1 Safari, 50 bucks. And then Ross Shallington bought one of those for myself. So for the collection, adding that on there. Next one. <laughs> no, the flip it, of course, on the T Mac. Uh, Lavid, what? Lavi or Lavi? I don't even know. I know it's retail too, but La Vida retail, maybe a little mix. Yes, no, I don't know. 270, uh, 40 bucks. The ones that I saw, the Oreo, big money on this. You're probably going to get like 160, 180. I mean, this is like easy money on this one. Money in shoe form that you just walked in and found them at Ross. Uh, DRN sells and Jaspa the Hustler. <laughs> $60 for Air Max 95 and $55 for the Air Max Plus and uh, got 10% off because they were a little dirty. Let's see, Hustle 2 win $40 and Air Max 97 and man, 40 bucks. And is it men's? It is men's, size 13. There we go. Next one, 760 Cleater and Maximo Fines, both with Vapor Max Fines. And they're both 50 bucks. I don't know the size, though. Kind of a little blocked. This one is a size 6, so a little small. Uh, but 50, you know, so much profit still doing made at 50. And this one, obviously, a cleaner colorway. I think these were on clearance at one point um, on Nike, but still at $50. I mean, come on, can't go wrong on that one. Uh, next one, Kinetic Threads and Klazi Kicks. Let's get into the Kobe One Pro Tro. In the chat, have you found these? Smash or pass? I did show it on my last Ross video. Um, I did see three pairs, and I know no to flip it. May or may not have found these as well. Uh, $65, and I know we got to be a little bit patient on completed listings. Completed listings and pricing is there. The problem is getting the right buyer um, for the shoes because Kobe Pro Tro, Kobe One, but it is noise canceling. It is different than the ones you've seen at the outlets, you know, the red and black or the purple and black that just have not been moving as well. We just got to stay patient on it. Maybe what October, November, December, Q4 time, uh, noise canceling, pretty clean, totally different look and feel to the shoe. And let me see, let me go back up. Passing the Kobe's, wasn't sure about them. Um, pass on the principal, but they're ugly. Um, let me see, pass on bold size eight, eight and a half. So Here's the thing, they are a little bit pricier than other finds or $65. Like I said, too, you're going to have to find the right buyer for them. The prices are good as far as everybody has been listing them and the solds, but they're not moving at like a rapid pace. <laughs> so got to stay patient. And I think we have two more. Uh, still kicking at sports and A7 resales. So two pairs here and three pairs here for still kicking at sports. Size 9, 11, and 12. All right. Sin City Sorcerer Lopez, what's up? It says for the collection. Um, so La Vida Retail and DZ Toy Box with Obras, a nice little mix of cleats. So 35, and I think there's more cleats on here. Uh, old B6607, Collectibles Beyond, Hustle to Win. We have 35, yeah, same thing, 35, 35, but tempo is good money. And apparently in Arizona, collectibles beyond. Uh, Anti-clog, which as long as we're not missing studs, we're good to go, unless you have some backup um, on the studs. And next one, last one for Ross, District Deals. And yes, this is true. And District Deals isn't the only one that has tagged me on this. Uh, different people did also find the SB Low Pigeon. Uh, oh, man. 35 And the comparable value, $52, which is random. I don't know the size, but District Deals killing it. And, man. I mean, you got to look. We want to Ross. Double and triple check. Men's. Kids. Women's. 
these might get mixed up uh, in a kid's section if it's like a smaller size. And I don't know, maybe six, maybe seven. So it could be out there. Uh, just double check. Who knows? Uh, Mark Dude What says sold mine for 400 already. Uh, let me see. But are they all samples? Um, well, they all have this. It's supposed to be uh, like sample, not for resale. And then he like marked it out for staple, uh, for Jeff Staple. So that's kind of like the play on words for this. Um, let me see. Mark Dude What, I tagged you. So yeah, I know there's more um, that had tagged me. Um, I know in district deals, I had. There's this one. I think there's two or three more. Um, also, if you look at uh, what is what is this name that we're always looking at as completed listings, um, impacting the game, impacting the game. If you go to his store, has three or four of these. He's either getting straight up hookup or multiple sourcing people. I'm just going with hookup because how do you get that many? Okay, uh, next one, Burlington. We're finishing off with the Burlington. We're almost at our uh, our mark, but let's go through them. Uh, Ecom Lifestyle, pretty much killing it with this one. This one's crazy. So Michigan Jordan jerseys sewn, uh, limited and elite, 325 and 130. And how many did he pick up again? It was like an insane amount. Look how many of these. All different Burlington stores. And this is easy money. Football season also coming up. Jordan branded. And different stores. I forgot what he said the total count was. Uh, but this one is wild. And I don't know what. All right. What a haul. How much? I think they were 25, I think, for each one of these jerseys. Um, if you're in Michigan area, or who knows? This is wild. Next one. Uh, K-Dub deals and ghost deals and deals. Uh, Vapor Max again. So the mix. So uh, Chinese New Year, this one for red. I don't know what the size is. And then uh, ghost deals and deals. All three pairs, size 15. Would you pick these up at sixty dollars? Um, oh, they were thirty nine. There we go. Electric Relish says. Uh, let me see next one. Oh, so would you pick up size fifteen? Smash or pass for ghost deals and deals? So, I think this one. The thing is, is that you found utility at Marshalls, complete with box, and people were leaving them behind. But they are a little bit cheaper here. I would probably leave these and take this, even at a size 15, and test it out. But utility, I would probably leave those. All right, next one, Colossi Kicks and District Deals. So Kobe ADs and uh, District Deals with the Kyrie 3 Samurai, $45. These are pretty clean, not going to lie. Uh, Kobe ADs, I think there's various colors out there as well. Uh, for this shoe, but either way, you know, that one's going to sell well. Next one, Ron 23 sells and still kicking its sports. And when I saw this, I was like, whoa, like, what is this? What's going on here? Uh, lacrosse. What is this? Uh, EQT heart lacrosse head for $13 and sells 80 to a hundred. Um, I have not seen this at Burlington, not seen this in my area, $13 should uh, ship well, pretty easy ship, uh, but totally random. Shh, about the lacrosse from Daryl, hey, I didn't find it. They're tagging me on it. We'll pretend like we never saw it. So if you catch the replay, then you'll see that on there. Don Alpha Cleat, back-to-back -back Cleat finds uh, Hyper Venom, Elite, and Phantom. So two of them here, very nice, Burlington. And uh, next one, um, Hustle and Souls and Rossington Flipper. This is a new name. So Ross Shallington, and they're trying to uh, play on your name. Ross Rossington Flipper. Uh, cleats, more cleats, and Hustle and Souls with the Kobe AD for 50 
That's a jock strap from Caroline. <laughs> it did confuse me at first when I saw it. I don't know what it was. Legalized ferrets and district deals. We have Vapor Max Plus. Wait, wait, this is a Ross find. How did this get mixed up in here? Ross find for $50. District deals, uh, $60 for the 98. Next one. Uh, what Marber Rossington is next? Uh, Don Alpha, Cleet, and Ross Shallington. So Vapor Max Plus. Nice little Cleet action right there. And. Don Alpha Cleat, killing it. What else can I say? What is this, three pairs? Uh, next one. Uh, Dylan Reef Cleats and Clausy Kicks. Clausy Kicks, man, it's just like a handful of cleats like nothing. Fire at Burlington. Um, Relentless says, I don't have time to source. Lies. Relentless is everywhere in everybody's posts. Um Hey, we got all the studs. We're good to go for uh, Dylan Reef Cleats. And uh, South Flow Finds, same thing with the Phantoms that Don Alpha also found. And then uh, Jasper the Hustler also found Cleats with LeBron. Um, and the LeBrons, though, I think these were kids. They're not men's. Uh, but if you do find them in men's, good money. Maybe even kids. I didn't even look them up. Uh, and I don't really know what the price is either, but kids, men's, look out for some of the LeBrons that might be slipping all the way down to Burlington. And now we get into like cartfuls and Closet Kicks and Merch Mayhem at this point just showing off. Um, straight flexing on Instagram. Look at this cart. Not only is this cart... Um, full i mean from the very you can see everything here but it's the same model like what happened to this burlington Did they just dump everything at one store and like you know what forget all the other burlingtons in this area here you go and all at one store in one cart and then here closet kicks with a mix but it looks like the uh anti-clog bottom so uh here one two three four five i don't know about the other ones here but they probably are the same thing but man, wild. Um, okay, so this week, DD's discounts, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington staying at number one. I really hope that Ross and Marshalls will come back up and climb the power rankings again. Because at one point, Ross on fire. Marshalls on fire. People finding the Kobe 11s. I uh, felt like they were slipping a little bit. Burlington has stayed consistent, I think, all the way around for everybody, for the most part. Uh, but Ross and Marshalls, come on. I got to work that up. And I think we are done. So let me uh, get this out. All right. Anything you want to say? Any comments? Any questions? Any MVP? Who's going tomorrow? Uh, Nike Outlet. Who's going to go every day for Nike Outlet for MVP pass? Got to work, what, five each? 250 worth of coupons, assuming you get the $50 and uh, when you can redeem them, well, well worth it. Caroline's going to definitely go and get some of those MVP pass and see going on Friday from David, uh, Stevie D, Fantasy Football Sneaker League. <laughs> uh, Monster Vodka can't imagine the cashier's face when he pull up in that with that cart. That's where you got to mix it up and like, are you a coach, sir? Are you a player? Um, and then who knows what kind of, what kind of excuse you come up unless you're just telling them, you know what, ma'am, I'm just reselling them. I'm just making money more than likely you come up with something else, uh, trying to recoup from vacation, extra grands, uh, best day of the week to go every day. Cause you never know what's going to be there. And the days you don't go sometimes are the best days. So I go every day, have to go every day and make my own schedule. And I think people are going back to school. I know Mountain Star is like, <laughs> I have to go back to work, um, you know, teachers, things like that, going back. And uh, it's going to mess up. The people that were off for summer can't source all the time now. So that might free up some time for the full-time sellers out there. Um, might get some extra fines if people are going back to work. So keep that in mind. If school's starting up, flipping dollars, 20 bucks. Sold a pair of Pale Horse tonight. Wouldn't be flipping shoes. It wasn't for your channel. Uh, 20 bucks for the next giveaway. So 
Thank you, flipping dollars. We're definitely going to use that. I can show. Uh, there we go. Showing some. Uh, showing the comment. I'll use that for the next one. Uh, to the already one that I'm going to do, and we'll have. It looks like two, uh, two or three giveaways uh, for next week. And I really want to get. Um, I'll get Ken Hustleby on next week or the week after that, so we can talk about Q4. We're already in August. Now is the time building up. Trust me, November, December. All that's going to happen quick. You want to make sure you have everything ready to go and you're making, um, you know, the money you want during Christmas time. All right. Let me see. I found a pair of anti-clog temples missing four gold studs. I have a set of extra studs in silver. So not sure I can change them or sell them with missing studs. Uh, you can sell them with missing studs. I don't really know. The pricing also depends on the size and the pair, but I would try to get those extra studs and maybe somebody can help you out in the chat um, and give you a better deal than it would be on eBay because I know people have been buying them individually and it has cost them a little bit more, but that would be the way to go. I was missing some. I ended up getting another pair that came with them. So that did help me. I can, you know, work with both pairs because they were both missing studs. But it is kind of a kind of a hassle. Let me see. Diaper Fanatic. Need to get some boxes for Q4. Stock X and Go. Definitely. Uh, Tax-free weekend thoughts um, from Zombries. So tax-free weekend is interesting because every, every city has different rules. And for tax-free weekend, I know shoes it's only good at least in texas it's only good if you're buying shoes less than a hundred dollars and they have to be like i don't think they'll work for soccer cleats i think they have to be regular shoes and not like sandals or anything i don't even know how that works exactly but a hundred dollars or less so that's only gonna be working for ross burlington and all that but even if you did buy cleats and they're like 35 or 20 or 25, uh, you're not saving a whole lot unless taxes are extremely high. For us, it's 8.25. So if I buy something for 50, I'd be saving like $4. So I think you're you're better going when it's less packed. You know it's going to be bombarded. Every store is going to be wild. So just keep that in mind too. You might have to be fighting through some crowds. Uh, great show, Gritty Girl Boss. Appreciate that. Smash hit that like button. That will definitely help. And let me see. Anything else? My stores are destroyed every tax-free weekend. Um, haven't found any pickups in a week. Um, yeah, that thing that kind of sucks too is like when they have to rebuild, it is, it is dry for a good week and a half. I hated that after tax-free weekend. Going in and out of stores, dry, bone dry after that tax-free weekend. Florida has it, has to be $100, uh, but the kind of shoe doesn't matter. So there you go from Phil. Um, let me see. Um, Asian Newbie has some studs if you're looking for them on eBay. And let me see, Tyler, we shall rebuild. Let me see. It's spend 200 for the 50. Yes, it is true. Spend 200 for the 50 at Nike. Uh, Team Crew Sports, good show. Appreciate that. I think it went quick, especially the first part, like Nike into the giveaway. Quick show today. Um, let me see. Tax freaking, uh, tax free weekend for us, right? Uh, Texas is this weekend. Um, I don't know about the other states. Glenn, come back to Florida. Um, we got a lot of resellers here. I need we, me and the B definitely need to go back to Florida and meet up with um, our boy Carlos Relentless Resale and hang out. And we got to go back to Florida for sure. Sin City Lo uh, Seller Lopez, appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Uh, dope show. Great show as always. Uh, it's always appreciated. Victor, thank you for that. And we are done. All right, so on Friday, I'm working on the edits for my uh, Marshalls video. I'll have that out. And uh, Monday, um, I don't know yet. I'm still sourcing, and hopefully something will come up. I'll get that video out there um, as well, some sort of sourcing video. And maybe Nike, maybe MVP, we'll try to work something in. And uh, I think we're done. So 
Thanks, guys, again, and gift card winners, and I'll send everything out soon. Go out and get it.